Welcome to the tutorial for German Alphabet app. This is for version 1.52. Uh, it'll be presented on the iPhone simulator, the Retina display, but it's uh, equally applicable for the, the iPad, which is uh, almost functionally identical. So, uh, as well, um, this is the full version, the paid version, but um, uh, I'll, also, I'll uh, cover the limitations of the free version as we go. So we're going to start out with uh, reference, and it, it's very quite. It's uh, quite simple. You touch the letter that you want to hear. S Z. S Z. Ö. O. V. Ü. Ü. Q. Can be simpler than that. So that's reference. We'll go to practice. And there's two games here, listen and select and reorder. So we can skip this, as I'll cover it. But uh, if you, as soon as I press OK, a, uh, you'll hear a sound. F. And you click the one that you think is correct. And o. because it was uh, correct, we, we, were, we uh, saw the green flash by. And I talked over the second letter, so let's press the repeat button here. O. O. Okay. P. Now let's pretend that we don't know this letter. P. And we'll get it wrong. P. And uh, two things happen. One is that uh, the wrong letter flashes red, and the the current uh, letter is uh, is uh, repronounced. P. P. And it will go on forever until you get it right or you press this button here which is the skip button now once I press it uh, I want you to look uh, at the letters here and you'll see one flash o. and the one that flashed was the one that we should have chosen and press next time we'll get it right SZ. now when you're presented with all these letters you might be intimidated at the beginning so what you can do is you can turn off whatever letters you want Okay. So that it, we just want to focus on about half of them, and the ones that uh, are dimmed are we won't be uh, questioned on. So we just press done. G. And M. She'll only speak the ones that are highlighted. A. And of course, you can uh, you can really reduce it A. down to. Um, down to the minimal, even to, uh, to two, if you really want to distinguish between the these two letters here, for example. So uh, that covers practice. Reorder is a uh, more advanced, admittedly. Uh, what it is is it's the, the sequence of the alphabet. So very briefly, I won't. Don't worry, I won't do the the whole thing. It'll be quite boring. So you press this down. And you drag it upwards. Okay. And then you just continue on. Go letter by letter. And you see it's green. That means it's, uh, it's in the correct position. We'll go to test. There's only one test. Listen and select. In a way, uh, it, looks, it should look familiar, except um, there's a couple important differences. One is that, uh, as it says here, 100 letters will be presented. Now, what you'll see is that you're not given immediate feedback as to the correctness of your response. F. Okay. So. Z. We'll pretend we don't know that letter. G. And there's no indication that we got it wrong. M. And at the bottom, you see this uh, progress bar slowly going across. Uh, when we reach 100, we will be given our score, that is a percentage, and uh, the elapsed time. So that's another way to, to chart our progress. I should say that the test is not available in the free version because the free version is limited uh, to the first uh, 10 letters. Um, 
so it makes no sense having a test on the, the whole alphabet. That means that in, in reference here and in practice, uh, listen and select, in fact, in reorder, you'll only have the, the first uh, 10 letters. And um, I'll show you later how to, to upgrade. Hopefully you'll be tempted. Uh, finally, settings, uh, you can, it's quite uh, limited to you, just uh, can toggle between capital letters and non-capital letters. Es set. Of course, the sound is still the, the same. Uh, finally, we'll go to the info screen. Now, if you had the free version, when you open this, uh, uh, there's uh, something that would happen. Uh, you'll be uh, presented with the option to check for a previously purchased upgrade. So if you had this, uh, if you installed the free version, upgraded within, and then uh, switched to your iPad version, uh, it'll check. You don't have to repurchase it, of course. Uh, it's good for all devices. So here, uh, the tutorial evidently is, uh, is the one you're watching now. Support site, review. Uh, I'd uh, grace, greatly appreciate if you if you gave a, a review and rating. Prefer positive reviews, but uh, this uh, I have to admit that this app, uh, most of my apps have evolved through through negative reviews as well. But positive reviews are are much appreciated. And uh, finally, we have um, the German numbers, which is the only other German app I, I currently have. So uh, there's both a free version uh, and uh, a paid version. So that concludes the tutorial for German Alphabet. I thank you very much. I hope you find it useful, even amusing. And I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.